Guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And today I have a not an unboxing, but I want to go over uh, something I got. As you can tell from the title, it's an Akai MPC uh, 500. Uh, I believe it is not. Um, it's not stock, as I refer to my cars, uh, because of the yellow pads. Um, these are replaced. Normally they're gray, so stock ones are gray. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Let's get right into this. Oh, as from the angle, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the ports. Let me focus this real quick. All right, so I hope it doesn't unfocus. Uh, okay, so it looks like we got MIDI in and out. Uh, I can't read it from here, but I'm but I'm relying on my screen for my camera. So we got MIDI right here, uh, USB in. We have uh line and mic in so you could toggle mic and go mono with one mic or you could toggle line in and have a stereo line in or you could have a line out right here output and headphone jack pretty neat and speaking of the headphone jacks and the quarter the quarter for the quarter inch inch jacks i got an adapter from mobile rest so i like to get my I like to get my adapters and cables gold plated preferably for some reason for corrosion but I mean I don't have all my IO like gold plated like this NPC is not gold plated obviously so there's there might not be a significant like difference so anyways here are the jacks focus this here are the jacks these are really nice jacks um I feel premium sound good and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my line out. I like the click. Um, whenever like you insert something, you guys you can hear. It sounds really satisfying. Let me get it focus. Eee. Anyways, it focused a little bit. But anyways, guys, so I got this cool NPC for. $140 which is pretty insane. I've seen these on Reverb and like other stores. They go for like uh, a lot more than what like I paid for it and they paid $140 and the guy also even included uh, two of the two gigabyte uh, Akai compact flash cards that this takes so I'm gonna pull out the, f the compact flash that this NPC has So it's the 128 meg. And we have the two gig cards right here. Two, two gigs. So I've been trying to connect this to my PC and it works via USB, but you have to go in the menu on the Akai. I'll, I'll show you guys like as soon as I'm done talking. I'll, I'll just cut to the camera that, like just specifically on the MPC. But yeah, I'll go over everything as soon as I'm done talking. So the guy said he had it for quite a long time. He said he got it at a pawn shop and the power cable is this freaking weird kind of, not that long, but yeah, it, it's it's here. Uh, it might not be the legit one, but you never know. If anyone if anyone knows about these, just let me know if it's legit or not. Uh, now let's go over here. As I'm currently filming this, I've been trying to get rid of my camera. This, this is the current the one that I'm recording with right now. It's a Rebel T6i, but I've been mean, wanting to get rid of it because I have lots of other stuff that I've been wanting to go over, but I haven't really had the time to go over it because uh, I'm gonna upgrade the camera and uh, I don't have my light with me right now. But here's what I pretty much have. Uh, I have a lot of stuff. Like it's just it's just a mess. But here's the. Uh, cassette player I have. I just had it out here for some reason because I was moving stuff but 
Yeah, see the light is bad. Behold the MPC 500. Um, it was actually not that difficult to get a ha my hands on it, but um, I'm pretty blessed now that I have it. Anyways, I'm about to boot it up. One hundred and twenty-eight megabytes of RAM. So let me connect something real quick, and we are gonna get jamming out real quick. Well, mainly to the default because I haven't even passed anything to my compact flash card, so this thing is empty. But I'm gonna load up a lot of stuff, and once I do, I'll be sure to upload a lot of videos. So to get to the menu, to the to connect to your PC, I go to mode and then I go to save and once you see the screen you should be able to go to PC your USB yeah, USB and um, it'll connect once you connect the cable and like I said it was like the printer cable so it's USB 2.0 trying to format the card and you have your cursor keys over here to navigate within the menu and this is to pretty much scroll but this is to navigate and you have your pad your pad bank is going to be a lot a very very useful for whenever you want to switch and I have more than the following nine or so, I'm sorry 12 sounds that, that you already have 12 pads that you already have so you can load up more than what you could norm technically fit right here. Okay, so I'm about to show you guys the RAM. I already popped this thing off. It has two hint, like click bonds right here. So pulled it off. And you have your RAM right there. So he actually upgraded it to 128 megabytes. That is 128 megabytes of RAM. Oh, nice. I actually pulled it out. And it's pretty easy to pull out, it's like a laptop. So this is your Akai MPC 500 RAM, 128 megabytes. Alright, so I hooked this up to my speakers really quickly, sorta. Uh, I got them on my EQ. Well, whenever you use this, make sure you don't go all the way to max on the main volume. Make sure you keep it like around right here. And. Anyways, I'm kind of missing since I'm looking at my screen literally. <laughs> switch pads real Next bank. So that's the only one. And I don't think D is even programmed for anything. Yeah, it's not. Let's go to C. I, I like this kit. But I mean, obviously the samples that are going to be vastly superior if you put your own you know you put your time into it this is 
packing a lot of heat. Um, but yeah, like here's the scroll wheel and it sounds satisfying too, listen. Really satisfying. And I'm doing this like really lightly. Cursor sounds really clicky too. Really clicking. And as as for the rest of the buttons, you know, they're really clicking. So yeah, every button is pretty much in use and this slider right here is pretty dang satisfying to use as well. These knobs are not that like used up so they're pretty stiff. Really stiff actually. Um the play start right here, overdub right here style play and Another important one is the 12 levels of do it button, which is the actual button that you use to like record. Not like record, I mean record just for something else. But there's a lot I need to learn from this. As you could tell, like, I'm not that experienced from it. But, uh, yep. Sequencing length. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. NPC, hopefully. Uh, some of you guys are uh, wanting to buy one. Uh, I know for a fact uh, you they're really useful today, as, as far as I'm concerned. As long as I can load up, you know, my samples and all that, um, I should be fine. You know, like um, no problem at all, right? Uh, I'm just I've just been having trouble. I don't know. Uh, it's a software I've I've tried uh, MIDI made, but I don't think it worked. I think I need another one. MIDI made. It's actually NPC made, not MIDI made. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it didn't work for me for some reason. I don't know. I probably have to reboot my computer. I don't know. It's something else. But other than that, I mean, if I don't get, if I like, like I said, like if I don't get them, to, if I don't get it to work, then I mean, I'm just gonna sell it to be honest. But that uh, well, like I mean, I know there's wide market and there's people actually like looking for these not on a daily basis you know but like i'm pretty sure people are interested in it i hope you guys liked the video please like comment subscribe anything helps out i'll catch you guys on the next one peace it's really hot in california you don't want to be here and these earthquakes oh my god